dude! Right as I walked yeah, down here, check no it way. Out, man. You got on the old Caltrop yep. spike. Oh yeah. Dude! Dude! Oh my gosh! A gun! What is going on today, you guys? Today I have something super special for you that I haven't done before. But first, upon filming this, we are approaching 5,000 subscribers, you guys, and I am absolutely blown away. I hope you guys know that I appreciate each and every one of you for watching here and getting this channel this far. I cannot believe how far we came together after just one season, you guys, and I am super excited to see what the future brings. This is the best hobby that I have ever picked up, you guys. I would seriously encourage anyone to start throwing a magnet in the water and see what they can find. But today, what we're gonna be doing is a big throwback of one of my favorite spots that we've fished since we started the channel. I think we spent about five days there, you guys, until we noticed that it started to get fished out. And that spot would be that abandoned railroad right in between those two factories, you guys. I have found my first gun here. We have found multiple World War II caltrops and a whole bunch of other cool stuff at this spot. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you guys, go ahead and do so if you want to stay tuned for more. But with that all being said, let's get right into today's video. Dude, you got something already? Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, but I don't think it's much. Oh, there we go. We got the old clam hotel. <laughs> She's vacant. Not bad for a first find. Though. Yeah, first, literally first, first throw. First throw, too. Oh, dude. I don't think that's seaweed down there. Dude, that's freaking heavy. I think so. There ain't no way that this is seaweed. Oh, dude. Oh, Ho holy cow. How'd they get this up? There you go. Jeepers. <laughs> dude, is that like the other half of the pipe uh, look, that I caught? Grab, do you still have your pipe? It's in the I think it's, the, it's literally it the, like same the same size kind, and probably yeah. the same thickness. Dude, check out this freaking pipe man. There's got to be a couple clams in that bad than boy. us. Yeah, this thing's probably eight feet long, man. And heavy as heck, too. This thing could probably echo if you talked into it. <laughs> Dude, super cool, man. What an awesome scrap piece to turn in as well. I gotta try to get my magnet off of here. This thing's stuck good. Dude, how about our first throw right here, man? Check out this freaking piece. Holy cow, man. Oh, the see? Dude, I had oh some. yeah. It just fell I heard off. It. There's just so many weeds on there, dude. Right. And there's like no current, so they're all just gonna stay there too. He's probably gonna keep pulling well, them Well, I up. think the more we throw, we should start clearing them out anyways. Like mowing the lawn? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> right there. Got it? Yes. There you go, right here. Right here. Come on. Nope, now it doesn't want to come up. No. Look at the bubbles, dude. You can tell that muck's moving around. Oh, oh, oh. I got it. I got it. Yeah, you dug you that know? thing right out of the Heck muck, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Pulled it right up out Holy of the muck. Holy cow, look at that, dude. What is this one? Uh, it looks like just bracket. the old railroad Jeez. bracket. Is it? Is that part of a rail or something? I don't know. I can't quite tell. Kind of looks oh, like yeah, it. Like, dude. No kidding. You know, like, Part of that yeah. piece? I don't know. I mean, I'm sure they had to do maintenance. Or over the life of this railroad, this thing is freaking old, you guys. No doubt going to be a bunch of railroad brackets and other pieces in there. Dude, no freaking way. If you've seen any of my prior videos, this piece right here looks very familiar, you guys. I feel like I pull one of these belt buckle looking C I've pieces in every of one of yeah. my videos, dude. Like the past like four videos, I've, I've at least found one of these. I've definitely found a couple of these guys. Yeah. I wonder what the heck those are for, man. Don't, I don't know. Don't you think they're like a belt buckle or something like uh, that? Kind <laughs> of it kind of looks like <laughs> it. Somebody's got to know what these are. Super weird. So this piece is definitely a mystery to me, you guys. Let me know what else you think besides a belt buckle. I just caught me one of them little, Shut up, really? them little C pieces. What the heck are Dude, these things? Th those things are so it's weird. It's gotta be some kind of clip or some kind of right, clamp right. or something. Maybe for the machine shop too, dude. Check it out, man. Tyler just pulled up another one immediately after us. That's super weird. Which just further adds to the mystery of what is going on with these pieces. It went from a file factory to a belt buckle factory. <laughs> Guys, that is so strange. Ooh, what 
what the world? Well, it was gonna happen eventually, you guys. We got our first railroad spike. Check it out, man. It even has like the same style head as the other ones that are still on the railroad right now. So if I were to pull one of them out, this is exactly what they would look like. Are these things threaded down into some sort of insert at the bottom? I mean, what kind of a tool would have used this? It's not like they're gonna turn that down with some sort of like a wrench. I guess I don't know much about railroads. Dude, look at all that freaking stuff in there, man. Holy cow. Dude, I got a whole freaking underwater plant on here. Let's just throw that back in the water. But there are a few finds in here. And right off the bat, you guys, check it out. It's yet another one of these freaking seas. That's just getting super weird, man. Another massive railroad spike. And a skinnier railroad spike all right you guys nothing too fantastic but it was still a three for one you guys check this out you guys we got us a railroad plate this is one of these pieces right here so this goes underneath the oh, track no kidding. Yeah. and this is where uh uh the railroad spikes go through i'm learning a lot about railroads today the Dude, whoa to fall out of it. it's like a giant coil or like a giant Dude, spray, yeah right or like a shock that could be it uh, off a vehicle or something that's about I think this is maybe right like a size. train shock. I don't think trains have shocks, do they? I don't know. I don't know much right? about I don't trains. Know. I don't know much at all about them. That's definitely what that is, though. Like some kind of spring or some kind of shock. At yeah, first, okay. I thought it was just a tube. Super cool. Dude. Holy cow. I wonder what the heck did that, that come That thing off is freaking of? thick, dude. That was meant to support a lot dude, of Dude, it's weight. heavy. Feel it. Oh, whoa. Yeah, that two handed. <laughs> whoa, he goes. <laughs> My goodness. That sucker's dude, heavy. Dude, awesome find, man. This sucker is very heavy. Sick, dude. Ooh, there's a little something on the bottom there you guys yep yet another spike but there is something else too what the world is this dude this is a goofy looking piece there man is this part attached to it or is it just rusted to it oh it's just rusted to it yeah look at that you guys holy cow that's been down there for a long time these rocks like rusted themselves there is like a nail or something that's driven through there too dude this is a weird looking piece oh that is weird isn't what it the yeah, there's like a nail huh. right through there i don't know what the heck you think is that yeah, going through maybe, there maybe it's like the bottom of a some sort of steering shaft or something that I is know. weird i definitely think that's supposed to be in there that is yeah. that is very weird <laughs> what the heck is that you guys it's got to be a, some sort of piece for a boat that would just be my guess. Dude, that's but check a this weird one looking out. piece. That, yeah. That's not just a regular railroad oh, wow. spike. At first, I didn't see that on there. I thought it was a railroad spike when I seen this end. Yeah. And then I seen this. I don't know what's going on it's here, you guys. Vampire stake, dude. That is really weird. I don't I don't think that's like a washer or a nut or nothing. I think no. that's like... Part, part of the cast. Yeah, this is like definitely one piece. That is really weird, you guys. <laughs> Super weird, dude. What kind of tool or what the heck do you think that is? Oh, dude, we got a whole load of stuff on there right now. Dude, look at this. This looks like the the tool end of like a, a long scraping thing. Um, I know I have one of these personally that I use in the winter time for ice on my driveway. They work fantastic too. The blade only goes on the sides, which I don't know how well that would work. Either way, you guys, it makes for a great magnet fishing find. I've never found one of these before. Check that out, dude. What it, is that? It looks like um, the, the tool end of like um, a scraping thing that you would oh, use yeah. on your driveway in the winter. It is like a scraper. It's just missing the the hand or the, the broom the long handle piece that is definitely a scraper you guys check that out Dude, no way. And another C. <laughs> He's got another C I think clamp. We're going to find more of these than we are railroad spikes, right? dude. Isn't that super weird? Dude, we just clicked on to something, man. I freaking felt that one. Look at this pipe that we got right here, dude. Check it out. Dude, I got a saxophone. Blue, blue, blue. <laughs> Look at that, dude. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Alex got the old pipe flute. <laughs> the pipe flute. That's, That's crazy. Looking. That's so funny. The old bent pipe, man. This thing took an impact by something big, but I definitely felt this thing bite my magnet, you guys. Check this one out, dude. Dude, what in the world is this, I've man? I've never seen anything like that before. Right? That is super strange. Yeah. It's got like I a mean, little hook on the top right? here. So if it were to hang from the top, right? what the heck would it do from there? <laughs> And if it were to do anything else, well, I'm still confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool find though, man. It's got some nice weight to it. Got a lot of seaweeds on there. I'm gonna dunk it a few times to get it off. Cause I do see a couple finds on there, you guys. 
Dude, you're not gonna believe this. Look at this, man. Look at these spikes. There's four Whoa. railroad spikes look on at here. These railroad spikes and look at how I caught spot. one of them. Look one at, of them is they're magnetized. magnetized yeah, each other. dude, that's that is super cool. cool. Dude, holy cow! One, two, three, four spikes yeah. on one throw. Oh, one throw, dude. Dang. That's insane. There's a few pounds of scrap iron oh. right there in one toss. Oh, oh I just one. lost the one he that was threw magnetized. some money in the water. Oh, he I'm threw gonna, some money. I'm gonna have to get it back up, dude. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, well, I did have four of them, but I did drop one of them on the way over here, so I'm sure we'll pick it up as we drag the magnet right over the top of where it dropped, anyways. Ha! I told you I'd find that spike that I dropped right here. What do you got there? Oh, dude, murder evidence. And look, imagine, how many reasons would this be in the water? Seriously. Yeah, right. I mean, maybe for fishing, but yeah, maybe based on how old shopping. this looks, you guys, I mean, this was probably used when this railroad was in use. <laughs> right, dude, no kidding. Maybe it was the train driver's lunch knife. <laughs> Check this out, man. It looks like a broken off piece of like a conveyor belt or something. So maybe some sort of like hydraulic lift and these are like the lift cables. I don't know. What do you think? Oh yeah, look at this thing Alex just found you guys. That is super weird. It's uh. definitely got cables coming out of each end here. And I think this might be like a cable clamp to hold them in place. But what right. the heck would something like this be used for? That is pretty cool. At least I think that's what they were. I'm pretty sure this is what, what we caught before. No kidding. That I'm does pretty sure it is. It's got like a little rock attached to it but i'm pretty is sure there, is it, it is looks it, like the little explosive is missing yeah, on this one so that's how you yeah know it's definitely hollow like that okay yeah. holy but cow dude, that's crazy man so i'm pretty sure that's what that is it does look like it, exactly what it is dude super cool man so they're also in this area too you guys i read up on it and apparently they're used for when trains are backing up and if you look at like how this is stationed with with uh, oh, the factory dude, true, right there. Yeah. Maybe they were backing up, so you yeah. know they would run over these and go bang, 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 and the person driving would know when to stop. True, yeah. That's crazy. So I had this goofy looking piece, man. How the heck would you use this though? This is not a separate piece on there. This is like part of the cast, which makes it really confusing of how, like I said, how you would even be using this, man. You would need a super deep socket to get down in there. We got ourselves another piece of the railroad, you guys. Wow, it's the very first throw where I actually have nothing on my magnet. Handle like oh, a Oh yeah, dude, dude, I don't check even know that what to out. think of that. Look at that, that thing. That is super cool. Fantastic. This is super cool, dude. It looks like a giant freaking water spigot, man. You know that valve that you turn on like for your garden hoses, except uh, like for this is like, handle, a, yeah. this is meant for a giant. Dude, super cool. One of the ears is obviously broken off there, you guys, which is too bad. It was almost in perfect condition here. Dude, nice find, lucky. Ooh, some more stuff, dude. We got railroad spike galore again, dude. How many are on here? Dude, we got three freaking more on one toss. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at this. Look at this wrench. Oh, look cow, at that one. Man. What the heck? The S wrench. Yep, <laughs> I, I found like a handful of Have these you now. Really? But, but this is the biggest one dude. by far. Why would that be useful? And the little teeth here are busted <laughs> up, you guys. That is yeah, so right? cool. That's super nice. Does it say what size it is, perhaps? Probably not is anymore. There anything, any sort of writing on there, you guys. Dude, what a cool find. That's a nice one. Super cool. Dude, this is a hot spot. Do you think this is a wrench, or do you think this is some sort of I don't know, prying tool? Because look at how it's like. Maybe it's both. Yeah, you see how it's tapered Flat, down right? like that? And this it almost comes not. to a point, correct, yeah. Right. Dude, I really wonder what that was used for, man. This is like my third or fourth curvy handled wrench. I've never found one of those. Only yeah, this one's like cool. huge, man. Right? Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Seat Another pepper. seat. <laughs> I need to start a collection of these too, man. I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna start a collection of these C's too. Set them right next to the spikes. And what do you know, another one, which will make six for just what I found the past couple of throws, dude. This is magnet fishing gone crazy right now. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of stuff on there. Dude, I caught a piece of glass. Heck? Yeah, right? Holy cow, man. I've never seen that before. How the heck did this stick on there? That's super weird. Was it pinched? 
I don't think so. It had to be. Where's, There's no way. Where's... Touch it back to it. There's no way. So this glass looks like it was pinched in between something, you guys. What are the freaking odds of that, dude? So the real question is, what did this thing come off of? Did someone toss like a mirror down there or something? Ooh. Is this more railroad spikes, you guys? Or is it something else? Looks like we got ourselves a couple more spike of rooskies, you guys. How many are we up to now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Holy cow, man. Every throw, we at least get one of these darn things. That's freaking crazy. Whoa, what is that, dude? Dude, this looks like a freaking arrow. What is this? This isn't the first one of these that I found here, but this one in particular actually has a handle on it, which looks like it's made out of wood, which was just barely left on there, you guys. This thing was ready to fall apart here. I did find one without the handle. Does that make this like a tool or something? Uh, so I found two of these already. One of them has like a handle that was just barely left on there. What the heck? So does that make, make these like some sort yes. of- Yes, dude, this is like the big thing that we found in the beginning remember it looked just like oh wait maybe not it kind of looked like that with the it spike it kind of does yeah huh. so i don't know but what the heck were these yeah used what for, are man? these that's like a rubber There's another mystery it's like here. a rubber or, oh no that is wood there's like a wooden yeah, cone on there, was so it's like a handle. Stuck on Maybe there. it was like a handle. Yeah, huh, there's right. definitely threads on there. What the heck kind of tool is this? No idea, man. That is weird. You it's caught two one. of them now? Yeah, yeah. Weird. This is my second one. Ooh, we got a few things on there. Check it out, dude. I found like a, a gas cap or something, or maybe like a radiator cap. Oh, or yeah. Or maybe at... like a radiator cap. That's or something, definitely dude. some kind of cap. It's got the old twisty For handle sure, on there. That's kind of cool. That nice. pretty cool. Yeah, you can see the locking ears on oh, there. Yeah. Hardly on that one, but cool find, man. That's something new. Maybe some kind of old school metal gas can with a yeah, metal right. top. Oh, there is something on there, you guys. Looks like we got more than just a couple things on here, dude. Yup, it's a three for one throw. So we got another C to add to our collection. And we also got our second little conveyor belt thing, man. Obviously, these wires are all going to be seized up there because it's been down there for a long, long time. But now that we found multiples of these, I even think Tyler found one, too. So these must have been for some sort of machine or something, you guys. That's super cool. Dude, whoa, what the heck, dude? This looks like the pieces that you use for like floor trim and stuff like that for like your transition pieces. Oh, that only reminds me of that because I just did that to my house pretty recently, but it's like another, or like a track piece, maybe like a window motor track piece or something. Yo, <laughs> what you got there, dude? Oh, the man. old hose Look nozzle that. sprayer. <laughs> you know what that might be for, dude? That might be for the docks Spraying for people to hose off their boats whatever, right? before they take it out of the water. Matter of fact, I guarantee it. That's cool, man. The handle on it's all twisted up. This thing took quite a beating at one point. Dude, whoa. You found a lot of cool pieces, man. A lot of unique finds, too. Those cans are pretty cool. Oh, this one's in decent shape. Check out that one, dude. An old Milwaukee. So is this now the current Milwaukee's best company? I wonder, you guys, because I don't think old Milwaukee is a brand nowadays. That's cool that the label side is in good shape and the rest of the can, it's not that big of a deal, but the label is in great shape, dude. Look at this what thing, What else dude. did you find, dude? I just broke the handle off oh, of there, no but way. check that out. Dude, holy cow. Big old sledgehammer. <laughs> right? And I broke the handle. I, it's no wonder longer. why this thing broke. I mean, even just lifting the weight See, that's off. That's what it, happened. It freaking it's super brittle. Because this thing is heavy. Yeah. Holy cow, Ever seen man. a sledgehammer, though, with a flat with head? A, with a square like head? That? Not that's really, weird. dude. That's weird. This is like a blacksmithing hammer. You build like... Something. You, you forge swords with this one, dude. <laughs> he told me. <laughs> Dude, that's an awesome find. I wonder, like, that's from the freaking Stone Age, dude. <laughs> Here it is, guys. We got our Brute Magnetic 360 degree boss magnet. I don't know if I would really use any other magnet right now, you guys. This thing pretty much tops them all. Let's get this thing in the water and see what we can find over here today.
Ooh, there's weight on here on our first throw, you guys. Oh yeah, check it out, man. There's a bunch of stuff sticking off of this thing. Is it all just rocks and seaweed or anything else? Not really, man. Kind of just a big piece of scrap, to be honest with you. But not bad for our first throw of the day, man. We'll just start a little pile right here, guys. What do we got on here now, man? This also feels magnetic. Sure is, dude. Holy freaking cow. Oh, I just had, I thought I had two pieces of rebar in there, but one of them was just a stick. Some more decent scrap weight on our very next throw. We're two for two on big items right now, you guys. Let's keep this good luck going. There's something else, dude. What the heck is this, dude? This looks super cool. Dude, what in the world is this? This looks like a serious antique tool, dude. I really can't come up with a single idea right off the bat of what this is. A large gate lock or something, you know what I mean? Like you would kind of open it up and that is I don't weird know. Looking. It's super weird, dude. What the heck is that? Look Take at this look thing at Alex just found, you guys. What the? Maybe like it's got some kind of like hook something. on there. Yeah, yeah right. What like the a, heck is like that? Here is like a handle. Yeah, that definitely looks like some kind of handle. That's super cool. That is really weird. I think weird. it's a gate handle. Oh, there's like a wooden pin going through. Yeah. What the heck is that, dude? I don't know. That's, That's super cool. cool. <laughs> here, buddy, you want to keep it? <laughs> yeah. There you go, dude. That piece was super interesting, man. What in the world was that? And that would be three for three here, you guys. I know I've said I found a lot of hot spots before, but oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, this thing is untapped, an untapped gold mine. And just as I was saying that, yup, another thing clicked on our magnet. What the heck is this now? We got a few things going on here. The first thing that I see, oh, there's another thing. What the? <laughs> heck is that dude all right so we got railroad spike number one of the day and we got this thing in the jig what the heck is that man it almost looks like a ball joint or something i don't have much else to tell you about that one you guys because it's super covered in rust and uh yeah it's just a weird shaped piece man but we also got the metal stick <laughs> look at this dude let's go boy Click. Oh my gosh, dude. Throw after throw. Okay, well, this one could just be seaweed. Could, oh, nope, nope. There's a spike hanging out in there, dude. Spike number two. And there's just a couple of like magnetic rocks on there. A couple iron rocks. Seen that plenty of times. Every throw, you guys. No matter where I put it down over here, I'm picking something up. What in the world is this, dude? Is this one piece here? It looks like a freaking pickaxe, you guys. What the heck? Whoa, dude. What else could it be? I mean, maybe it was broken off there and cut there. I don't know, man. <laughs> we got ourselves the scrap pickaxe, you guys. Oh, I think we got something else on there. Is it just seaweed? Or is there a railroad spike hanging out in there? Oh! Oh, dude! Right as I walked yeah, down here, check no it way. out, man! You got on the old Caltrop yep. spike. Holy and guess cow. what? This one's in pretty darn good shape too. It is. Oh, it's missing a tip there. That's all right. That's super cool, man. We found like 20 of those right? things just in this area. And this will just further confirm that these are certainly Civil War Caltrops, they you guys. They gotta be. That is I mean, crazy. you find so many of them in the area, there had to be some sort of a war zone here at one time. Absolutely crazy, man. We got ourselves another Caltrop, dude. I'm gonna start myself my my own collection of these things. On that little grass peninsula over there is where I found my last caltrop. I found these things there. I found them way over there. We're finding them way over here now. Oh man, that is so cool. Dude, we are on freaking fire today, you guys. Did we just click something? Maybe, maybe, let's see. Oh yeah. Dude! Dude! Oh my gosh! A gun! <laughs> my first gun, dude! Oh my gosh! Unbelievable! Check it out, dude! Yup! 
Yeah. Look at this handgun, man. You did. <laughs> Bro. Unbelievable. Nice. No way. Yeah. That's Your first gun. Super dude. cool, nice. dude. Yes. <laughs> yes, dude. Dude, that is cool. Let me Unbelievable. See that. I don't oh. even know what to say. I'm so freaking Holy stoked God, right now. Guys. Look at this gun Alex just found. Oh, man. I've never seen anything like this. I wonder if someone would come all the way down here to ditch that after they would commit a crime. <laughs> An unspoken crime. Yeah. <laughs> right? Wow, dude. So, unfortunately, it's so rusted up and been down there for so long. It looks like it's <laughs> missing cool. pieces because there's a straight hole in it right there. There was probably some sort of trigger guard on there. You're not going to be able to see any sort of numbers or model, you know, model numbers or anything like that. <laughs> but unbelievable, you guys. We got ourselves our first handgun. This is the best day of magnet fishing I might ever be having, you guys. Holy. Holy cow, man. Are you kidding me? Multiple weapons? My first handgun? Every throw or pulling something up? I just clicked on something else? <laughs> My gosh, man. What the heck is this now? We got ourselves another railroad spike. We'll just lay that one down beside the other two that we found already. What is this weird looking piece here? This one's strange. So there was a straight hole through this thing, but it is completely rusted through. Dude, what was this one used for? That's a strange looking piece. I wonder if that handgun is also from the Civil War era, you guys, along with these caltrops that we're finding. There's still a little doubt on what war it was actually. It could have been World War II, but we never know. And on this next throw, we're gonna have a Washerooski. Ooh, this one's heavy, man. What the heck do we got here? Holy cow. Oh, what the heck? Is this a railroad detonator? I was gonna say, is this one a railroad detonator? But it's a weird looking one. It almost looks like a, a super old school, like castle key lock, dude, doesn't it? What the heck is this? Probably like a piece of the railroad though, you guys, more than likely. Do you think this was used as like a washer or something? Oh, that's exactly what it is, you guys. Just as I was saying, it, it might be a washer. Look at that. That matches up perfectly, you guys. So the railroad spikes were driven directly down into these pieces here. I wonder if these were just used in the middle of the track because I don't see any of these ones on the outside, just in the middle here, which is pretty strange, huh? And we're going to have another railroad spike and another giant railroad spike. What the heck? Oh, here's some massive weight, you guys. Oh, yeah. What the freaking heck? All right, so we got this piece. This looks like some sort of big metal stake, something that you would stick in your yard, like when they're flagging something, doesn't it, you guys? I mean, they're doing construction on my street right now, and they have pieces similar like this in the ground marked with spray paint where they're going to do certain work. But what do I know? I don't do that stuff. It could just be a piece of scrap, too. <laughs> and we're going to have another wash of Ruski to put by our other one. Wherever I set it down. I think it's right over here. Oh, good, good job, yeah. buddy. There it is. Let's see what we got on here this time, huh? Does it feel like you got something? It, every throw, I seem to be pulling something up, so I don't see why this one would be any different. Ooh, there is a little something on there. A railroad spike. Yep, I think you're right, buddy. I think that's another railroad spike, dude. I'm gonna compare it. Dude, is this magnetic? I thought we were just hooked on a rock there. Holy freaking cow, man. This has some major weight to it. Dude, sheesh. What do we got here? This will be fun to try to get off the magnet. I actually have an idea of what this is. This looks like a train brake, you guys. I actually have found one of these things full. This looks like only half of one, but they do extend about this far and they have a good curvature like that. Yeah, I think that's what this is, you guys. We got ourselves a big train brake. Dude, super cool. Ooh, is this just seaweeds, guys, or what do we got here? Nope, dude, a big old pole. God, it's like some sort of long conduit piece. I don't know, man, or like a road sign. This could be freaking anything here. We'll just lay this one down by the rest of the stuff. Oh, there's some weight on there, dude. Oh, can I even get this up out of the water? Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, watch out, don't fall on my foot. Oh my gosh, what in the world would this be, man? Dude, check out this one, man. 
This is a too. this is a strange piece. Look what dude. I got here. Let me take yours. You take mine. What Look at the this? small little gear like pieces in there, gear dude. Gear what there? the heck was this? Whatever it was, it was electrical because you can see the wires oh, actually yeah. running all through inside there. Dude, there's a little like motor right there too. What the heck is this, man? This is super cool. It has like this thing that you can grip at the top. It's probably too rusted to turn right now. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to turn. I don't know. It almost kind of looks like the inner workings of like a clock or something. I don't really know. Oh, or like dude, a you're watch. Right. But that's and like this a... might be to like set the clock or something. Right. I don't dude, know. That's super cool. That's weird. What do you think about that? I don't know what the heck's going on with the hinge can, here. Maybe yeah, like some can... kind of massive door hinge. Maybe for right. like. Yeah, you can. I don't yeah, know. Maybe right? now like they have fences or down there. But maybe back in the day they had like But big that was gates. supposed to turn at one point there. But you can see it's so rusted shut. You can see that um, pivot point. I right, think that right, right. There. That's what I'm saying. Some kind of hinge. Weird, I don't know. Man. That is cool. Oh my gosh, dude. More heavy weight on there. Every single throw. And I'm not even, I'm not just saying that, you guys. It's literally every throw. It's something. This one looks different too. What the heck is this piece now? What the heck do you think this was, dude? This is like a freaking big old drill or like a jackhammer. I'm sure someone in the comments can let me know what this is here, man. Cause I have no idea, but it is pretty heavy, dude. This thing probably weighs like five, six pounds. Here's an old trick, you guys. What you wanna do is you wanna take and just dredge it right alongside here and typically you can feel something just click on there. And that's assuming that I'm not completely covered in seaweed right now. <laughs> Let's see if I know what I'm talking about, you guys. Sure enough, look at that. <laughs> a big old ring, man. This could be like a top of like a big old 55 gallon drum or something. I have no other idea other than that right there, you guys. So let me know if you think I'm correct or not in the comments. We're also gonna have plus one to our railroad spike collection. Oh my goodness, dude. I just pulled this directly out of the freaking muck, dude. Oh, I can hardly get this one up, dude. Oh boy, what is this? Check this piece out, man. It looks like a piece of like a fire hydrant or something, right? Where you would turn it on and off there. Dude, oh, this yeah. thing's super cool. We also had this piece on there, man. This looks like a huge freaking engine mount for like a massive piece of machinery or something, man, right? I mean, this looks like some sort of big old bracket piece where a big bolt would go through there, which is completely filled with dirt and debris right now. And there was another one right there too. So that was meant to secure something right there. You can also feel that there are bushings pressed in on each side too. Dude, super cool, man. This thing weighs like for almost 10 pounds right here. Plus this, dude, that was a good pull up. Fisher found something already, yeah, you guys. Out, dude. Whoa, dude, what the heck is this, man? This I've is definitely some like sort of electrical motor, maybe? That's what think, I'm thinking. There's definitely wires hanging right? off of there, so I don't know what the heck yeah, that is. Yeah, man. Oh, dude, but I have no clue what it, it would be It does kind of look like though. a little motor with this little, I don't know what yeah, that is on there. Right. That's it weird. It was probably driving something here. This is probably just the motor itself, and this was driving something, you know what I mean? Whatever was operating definitely broke off there Super or was cool. like a separate piece. So check it out here, man. Like I said, we're at the very same spot that we were in the last video that every single throw I was pulling up something, you guys. We still have quite a ways to work all the way down to the sign that says no trespassing. And we also have this side of the bridge to throw yet too, which I got a very good feeling that we're not even going to get to today. We're going to have to save for another day. With that all being said, let's try our luck today, you guys. Was that moving? Good lord, that was heavy. There's a piece of whatever I had on there. It looks just like a bolt or something. But what I had on there was absolutely massive. It slipped off of my magnet. Let's get back down there and see if we can find it. Right here, bro. I'm on it again. I might need your magnet down here, bro. I'm on it again. It's like moving and I don't want to lose it. Yeah, I, this is this thing is freaking heavy. Yeah, I'm, I slipped off again. I don't really want it here. Let me feel around for a second. I, don't want I just ripped another piece off of it here, you guys. What the heck is this now? Pulling chunks off of whatever the heck is massive down there, you guys. The fisher looks like he just ripped off another small chunk of it. I really want to see what is down there, you guys. 
<laughs> just ripping chunks out of her. Come on, come out of the water. I want to at least see what this is. Ripped another piece off, dude. My goodness. I have no idea what is going on there. It's like rusted into the rocks. One more try. Mm, here's a little something you guys what is this now check out this one you guys what do you think about this one maybe a piece of a train break i don't know definitely gonna be a piece of the railroad you guys but i have no idea which part this thing does have some decent weight though i guess it's just gonna be a great scrap piece you guys Oh, some decent weight on here now oh we got more than a couple things on here the heck is going on dude look at this one this one's new the skateboard wheel do you think that this was thrown alone in there or do you think an entire skateboard was thrown in there and the thing rusted apart and the wheel just fell off dude that's super cool i've never found any pieces of a skateboard before we got the old bio sprinkler what do you got there check it out oh it's like the, the sprinkler system oh yeah no kidding for like dude, if a fire is. happens in a factory dude check that out man that's super cool the fisher found what looked like a piece of a fire alarm like the sprinkler piece that would hang from a ceiling it would be connected to the water pipe and you could see this that would like put out the, the fire here. yeah for sure man dude that's super cool you look at what i found too check it out i found a skateboard wheel oh check that out no way that's <laughs> kind of cool look at that guys alex found himself a skateboard wheel i bet you the rest of it's got to be down yeah, there that's right. kind of cool that sucker's got to be old yeah super old Ooh, we got some more stuff on there, you guys. What do we got here? Oh, the first one of these for the day, you guys. The C piece. We got us the belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> or as we came to the realization that these are used to fasten down the railroad spikes, you guys. Super cool. And we're going to be able to start our own railroad collection for the day as we found ourselves the first one. Dude, here's some decent weight on here, man. Ooh, what do we got? Check that out. Oh, half of it just fell off there, you guys. But look at this one, dude. Look at this. This one actually has some writing and stuff on it, you guys. So I'm going to take a good guess and say that the CH Chicago Company. Look at that thing, dude. And there's also some writing that I'm still trying to read right there. What do you think, dude? NM and S something. S cg it says 420, 420. <laughs> yeah, dude that's cool man i hardly saw that right down it there it kind of definitely looks like some kind of door flap or some kind of door hinge yeah no kidding you can see the little pins here it, could like, you imagine like if this a is coal like a burner i was just gonna like say that, that. i just found a shovel in my last video here, did you really and i was and i said that i was wondering if maybe they used that shovel for yeah, coal right? burning. <laughs> <laughs> well, what if this is the door flap Dude, that's for the old coal so burner? Cool, man. Holy cow, you guys! Check this thing out that Alex just found. What Maybe does that if he say? Took a brush M and M. Yeah, right. I can't really tell. I would what take that like says. a brush and kind of just work that around. You could probably make out what those letters are there. Oh, you dude. could definitely soak this and clean this yeah. up. It'd be real easy. That's a super cool piece, yeah, dude. Yeah, for sure. When we make our scrap run, we got to set stuff like this aside that we oh, really yeah, want to sure. refurbish. I got a pile in the back of my truck that's like set aside at. for things that Sweet, we're Sweet, dude. Awesome. Nice. Oh, that thing's got some length on it, man. What is this now? The heck is this, man? This was painted blue. And you can just hardly tell that. And it's a thin piece of like sheet metal or something. You can see the screws that have been ran into the very edge there. What do you think there, you guys? Like, it looks like a piece of house siding or something. That's super weird. And we're going to have another railroad spike and like a broken off railroad spike. I don't know there. Is that like a heating coil or something? I don't Dude, even know what to yeah, think of that thing. look at that, man. That's a really weird yeah, one. Yeah, it's like a, what do you call that? Them old school metal heaters that right? people had in their homes. Like the old heater coil, Yeah, I for guess. sure. I don't dude. know what the heck. I don't going. know the proper term of them, but I know what you're trying to say, man. That's a cool find. I think you're right about that. Guys, the rain is starting to pick up on us before it said it was supposed to, of course. Hopefully it lightens up. Oh, we have another find on our magnet, you guys. Jeepers. 
Look at how deep the threads are cut on that one, guys. Oh my goodness. That's cut so deep that you could like stab someone with this spike here. Holy cow. Whoa, what the heck is this, man? Check out this piece. Whoa, this freaking thing's heavy. Dude, uh, what the heck do we have here, man? This is a big broken off piece off of something that used to be freaking massive, man. This thing weighs like freaking 20 pounds here, and it just seems like a big old chunk of steel, dude. Holy cow. Was this like a big blast door or something, dude? Holy freaking cow. This is super cool. What do we got here, guys? Another spike? That's what it looks like. Just another railroad fastener to add to the collection, you guys. Whoa, dude, what the heck is this? Whatever it is, it's not too magnetic. What the heck did I stick on here? I think I just hooked on the nail that is poked through here. But either way, dude, this is wood and this is glass. What the heck is this, dude? Is this some sort of like lamp or like outside light? I have no idea what this is, dude, but this is super unique, dude. What a cool find. Dude, check out this piece that I found. It's like completely made out of wood Whoa. and glass. I just stuck on the nail that was poking through there. What? I have no idea what it is. Dude. It looks like a solar light that you stick outside, you know what I mean? And it lines your driveway or walkway. That's what it looks like to me. Hey, look at that. It says made in USA. That's a first. Is that what it actually says? Yeah. I couldn't make They're just super spread there. apart. USA. Oh, yeah. No kidding, yeah. dude. I thought that the country was on the back because there's another word. You see that? Oh, yeah. What does that I say? I have no idea what that. Hemingway. Yeah. I have no idea what that says. That must be the company that I thought that was the country. Hemingway 42. What a weird piece, though, dude. Huh. So we got some weight on here, guys. Check this out. What do we got? Oh, what is this one, dude? This isn't the first one of these that I've found today. We're finding so many pieces of the railroad, you guys, that we're gonna be able to build ourselves our own. <laughs> oh, there's something on here, you guys. What the heck is this now? In the middle of all that seaweed, you guys, I see this bad boy in there. What the heck is this? This looks like half of the top piece of like a vice, you guys. It looks like a broken off piece of a of like a bench vice, man. I mean, that's really the only idea of this one that I have, you guys, because it's so freaking rusted up and stuff. We'll just set this one aside here. Check it out, you guys. We got ourselves another railroad spike fastener off the railroad. And who knows how old these pieces are, you guys. This thing has been shut down for so long here. So I guess I never really paid too much attention to the sign that's painted on the side of the old factory here. It says that it's founded in 1873 three you guys so i'm not too sure if that's going to correspond with the age of this railroad this railroad could be 150 some years old here you guys dude that is so cool oh there's another one of these weird looking pieces with the wooden handle dude oh yeah that handle is just barely holding on there you guys as soon as i grabbed it it like deteriorated on me check that out man what the heck were these ones used for definitely gonna be some piece of the railroad here but i don't see where it would have been used though you guys Hell no bro. way you found one man nice this is my first one today but i've literally found these every Ooh, single time we've come nice, here man those Heck are yeah, super dude. cool to find unreal we still don't know though somebody down in the comments did say that some of these can go for 300 dollars a piece oh really so Damn. if that's the case dude and we have like 20 of these holy yeah, smokes no kidding and some of these that we found too are in really good good condition like unbelievable condition that is super crazy. cool man nice find oh there's a couple pieces on there oh the other piece was just a rock which was attached to a railroad spike you guys what do you know another one just throw this one by the others here oh we got ourselves a couple pieces on there too man what the heck is this one check out this man this looks like the piece that we use to attach our magnet to our rope <laughs> except for this one's super big here man so that's pretty cool i also see on there that we have ourselves yet another railroad spike you guys oh my gosh we're gonna have such a collection of these things by the time that we are done fishing this entire bridge uh, you a, a t piece or is that it's two just pieces a, it's 
pieces. It was a bolt oh, and a piece of rebar. Oh, okay, but the way gotcha. it was coming up, I was like, what right? the heck is That's that, dude? Cool, right? <laughs> Ooh, what do we got here, man? What in the world is this little handle piece? This looks like a, a handle to like a cabinet door or something, you guys. Maybe a piece off of someone's boat. And we're gonna have another railroad spike, you guys. These spikes are getting absolutely out of hand, you guys. I have like six or seven already myself. And Tyler has probably pulled up well over 10. So holy cow, you guys, these things are absolutely everywhere. Is that another one, you guys? Holy cow, man. We're gonna leave with a hundred of these things, but it's time we're done, dude. Just after I got done finding a railroad right. spike, check it out, guys. Alex finds himself another yeah, no one. No kidding. I wonder if these were like individually forged, dude. Did they have a machine to create railroad spikes or did right. someone handcraft every single one of these dude could you freaking imagine the labor behind all of that that's absolutely insane whoa look at this piece dude check this one out you guys what the heck do you think this was this almost looks like some sort of like a fuel filter or something you guys i i have a hard time identifying like boat parts this is probably something like that you guys but who really knows here this is a unique piece man super cool find here we have both only been been here for maybe two hours and oh my gosh you guys we have this entire walkway just lined with different kinds of finds look at all of this stuff that we got here today you guys so much iron we are definitely ready for a scrap run here you guys holy cow Ooh, are we gonna click on something on our very first throw here you guys I think so. Oh, what do we got on there, man? This thing's got some pretty good weight here. Whoa, look at this, dude. You guys, what in the freaking world is this? It looks like some sort of a cap to a pipe, but it also has a big old chain attached to it, man. Why would that be on there? Dude, this thing weighs like freaking 10 pounds too, man. What an epic first throw here, you guys. So this is the very first time that I'm gonna be down way by the fence here. I'm not sure if anyone has been down this far yet, you guys. So we have yet another untapped magnet fishing gold mine down here you guys Ooh, ooh! might have a little something on there man what do we got here whoa that looks unique here's what in the freaking world does this look like to you man to me it looks like some sort of an old school scale or something man is this like some sort of a levy or something here and i don't know if it would like weigh how heavy it was i have no clue here man but this is a super interesting piece all right man not bad for our second throw here we could have another great stroke of luck here at this hot spot you guys yeah, there's some decent weight on this throw here, you guys. Oh my goodness, look at this one, man. We got all sorts of stuff going on here, you guys. We got one railroad spike, we got two railroad spikes, and then we got one giant railroad spike. <laughs> <laughs> well, might as well start ourselves another spike collection alongside the track here today, you guys. Oh, dude, yes. What do we got on here on this throw, you guys? Whoa! Oh my lord, look at the size of this bottle cap, dude. <laughs> dude, check out the giant bottle cap that we had on here, you guys. <laughs> Probably more of like a mason jar lid here, man, but pretty cool. I've never seen one of these here before. And we're also going to have what probably is the longest railroad spike I've ever seen here as well. Not a bad toss, you guys. Might have a little something on there, you guys. Ooh, but I also see that big stick. It might just be that big stick, you guys. Dude, that rope is completely wrapped around there. And it fell off just as we were about to get it in our hands there. But that's okay. I don't think that's something that I would take home with me anyways, you guys. Ooh, there's a little something hanging out the bottom of the magnet, you guys. I see it. Looks like we're going to have a massive bolt that was hanging out down there, you guys. This was meant to hold together a freaking skyscraper here. Ooh, we definitely got some nice weight on our magnet this throw, man. 
Holy cow, dude, what is this? There's so much seaweed on there, I can't tell if this is all just one piece or if this is multiple. Looks like it's turning out to be multiple pieces here. Let me work on getting this all off. All right, you guys, so it looks like we're gonna have a solid three for one throw here, man. We're gonna have this ring looking piece, which looks like it took quite an impact at one point because it is now almost shaped like a heart. Not much else to tell about that one, man. We're gonna have another railroad spike to add to our collection today. Ooh, we might have something on our very next throw here too, man. Oh, sure do. Holy cow, look at the size of this freaking bolt, dude. Having a tough time even getting it off the magnet here. This perhaps is the largest one that I've found on this railroad bridge here too, man. Holy cow, this weighs like three or four pounds too. Nice scrap piece to turn in as well. All right, here we go, guys. We're on a decent streak. On our next throw, I feel like we got something on here too. Ooh. This looks like a different looking piece too, man. But look at this one, man. Check out this bracket piece. Do you think that this is some sort of like engine mount for like a small machine or something? Because that's kind of what it looks like there. It looks like two bolts are going each ear there. What do you think about this piece, you guys? It looks like some sort of levy piece here where you would have like a rope going through there. This would perhaps be bolted down on both of its ears there. And then if you wanted to raise or lower something, this would go up or down with the wire. It's Kind of like a levy system man dude, that's a super cool piece i just really wish i knew what this cable was running here man what a unique find oh i didn't even think i had any weight on there but we are gonna have another one of these seat clamp things in my prior video we discovered that the railroad spikes actually get driven through there and these are used to kind of hold them down man but it's still a really cool piece and it's another one to add to the collection here you guys Oh yeah, I felt that freaking click, man. This has some nice weight on it. Oh, dude, there is so much going on here, you guys. Whoa, I can't even count right now how many pieces are on here because there's probably stuff buried underneath this seaweed. All right, you guys, it looks like we got ourselves a decent sized pole here, man. This looks like some sort of like a jack handle or something, man. One of those things that you turn to raise it up or down. That's what I think, man. I mean, what else would this be used for? Maybe like some sort of a sign post too? but it would have to have been cut in half as well because it's just not gonna be tall enough there. For me, this is gonna make for a great scrap piece. On there as well, guys, we're gonna have another spike and a small piece of rebar. Ooh, see a little something on there, you guys. Looks like we're just gonna have a nice wash of Ruski on there. I feel like we just clicked onto something, man. Not too crazy of weight, but certainly got a little something on there. Let's see what we got. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this now, man? Let me just clear off the seaweeds and get a better look. Here's yet another very unique piece, man. This thing's kind of falling apart on me here, but it looks like it's a bunch of these rods going all around here, you guys. And there's sections here where I don't know if this was sealed shut or if this rusted shut on the side, but I don't have a single clue of what the heck this was or what the heck it would be used for. Oh, I just broke another layer off there oh oh dude i just freaking picked up something so heavy i can hardly even get it up here you guys holy cow what in the freaking world is this this is probably gonna be the heaviest thing that i find today dude what in the freaking world is this dude it's some like big alligator jaw style thing what the freak what the heck man why is it all bent up like that it's bent in such a random way the head of this thing makes absolutely no sense dude let me know in the comments what you guys think about this bad boy here i'm surprised that the magnet didn't slip off of here as we were pulling this up i could hardly even get it up here dude holy cow man what a throw Ooh, there was another piece on there dude look at this one is this like a battery or some sort of like motor you guys you can see that right there that looks like an electrical style thing but the rest of it is just completely covered in rust and i uh, can't make anything else out on there guys 
Might have a little bit of weight on there, you guys. Doesn't seem too crazy, but I can see maybe one or two things hanging out on here, you guys. I guess if you include these rocks, it's four, but ultimately, you guys, it's one small little nail and one giant railroad spike. Just one more to add to our collection, you guys. Dude, again, I think we clicked on something on our very next throw here, you guys. Dude, another big piece. Dude, look at this one, man. This thing used to be, now I'm just guessing, be a full circle here and we just have a small part of it the edges on here are very jagged or it might just look like that because it's been rusted over for many many years but this is a super cool one man this is going to be tough to figure out whatever the heck this used to be whoa we got a little something on there man on this side over here it is extremely rocky and is actually super dangerous that'll be the last time that i throw over there but it is going to give us two more finds before we do so dude is this a broken off piece to our jack handle maybe look at this you guys it might be dude there could be like some sort of underwater pipes going on there man and i've just picked up a piece before and this one looks like it matches up perfectly you guys this one's gonna be be a weird one here man i have no idea what's going on here this was broken off of something man this is just gonna make for a great scrap piece you guys Ooh, did i just click on something sure did you guys here's actually a couple pieces on here dude look at this there's like two of the same piece on the same throw here one of these is like a twisted pair and the other one's straight with like some tied up wire on there you guys that's super weird i wonder how i got this on the same throw here Ooh, we got some weight on here in this throw, man. Ooh, there's definitely something on here now, man. What do we got? Ooh, this will be fun to get off our magnet. Wow. It actually worked pretty well. Check out this one, dude. This is a freaking massive spike here, man. And it's been down there for so long, you can tell that, because the two oversized washers are completely rusted in place, man. Holy cow, I wonder how long that's been down there. And I wonder what this was used to fasten down. This thing is freaking thick, dude. You guys, unfortunately, my GoPro died just as I was pulling the heaviest thing up of the day and perhaps the heaviest thing that I have ever found here, you guys. I can't believe that my magnet stuck on this thing here, dude. I still have no ideas really on what this bad boy is. It has a few mechanisms on it that you could grab and it would probably pivot right there, but it no longer does being that it's been in the water for so many years. This thing probably weighs 50 or more pounds here, you guys. Oh, I wish you could have saw me pull this thing out of the water. I had to grab it because it started to slip off off of my magnet as I started to get it up over the rail you guys absolutely crazy fine and on that same throw we're also going to have another one of these C brackets to add to our collection plus one railroad spike you guys best throw of the day so far right there you guys well I definitely got my exercise in for today you guys during regular business hours they don't want you to park in their parking lot so what I had to do, you may be able to see my red car right there. I had to walk all the way out by the street and come all the way through here, you guys, which is gonna be a real pain when I haul all the stuff that I find here today back to the vehicle. But I think it's gonna be worth it, you guys. I'm gonna first tie my rope off right here. I'm gonna throw in this region. And like I said, if I don't find much over there, let's start throwing on this side today. And this is the magnet that I'm always talking about, you guys, the Brute Magnetic 360 degree boss. I would not be throwing any other magnet right now, you guys, as I think that this one is the best one on the market in my opinion so let's get this thing in the water and try our luck today what an absolute beautiful day we got here you guys there's minimal wind i mean it's like mid 70s sun shining and it feels good what a great day for some magnet fishing Ooh, are we gonna yank something on our first throw, you guys? Sure are, look at this. First throw, you guys, we're gonna have ourselves a broken off piece of the railroad. Check out this goofy fastener, man. This isn't one of your typical railroad spikes here. And the weird thing is, is how the heck would you ever turn this thing down? You would have to use like an open end wrench and turn this giant bolt down. Who the heck is doing that? Super weird, man. This thing's gotta be old as heck. Not bad for our first throw, you guys let's get this thing back in there we definitely got some weight on here right now you guys 
Ooh, what do we got here, man? It looks like most of the weight is gonna be from all of our magnetic rocks and debris, but we're also gonna have this piece that looks like a ruler, man. Check out this cutoff piece, dude. You could tell by the uneven edge there that this is definitely a cutoff piece, and this was much longer at one point. But not bad, man. We're keeping the finds coming, and this will make for a great scrap piece. Oh yeah, man, there's a little something on there. A little heavier than just the magnet. Let's see what we got on here right now, man. Whoa, dude, no way. Talk about having a lucky day, man. I just pulled a horseshoe out of the water. <laughs> Holy cow, that's so cool, man. This is the first one of these that I found. And you know what? This is a great sign for today. Dude, how lucky can you get, you guys? Honestly, this is just as cool as like pulling a gun out of the water, if you ask me. What symbolizes luck more than a horseshoe, man? Super cool. That horseshoe was definitely not all of the weight on there, you guys. Most of it was gonna be this giant iron rock and our first railroad spike of the day. Let's make a pile of these right here. Ooh, I see some stuff on there, you guys. Underneath all the seaweed. First of all, we're gonna have our first railroad spike retainer. And I am learning a lot about the railroad in my past few videos, you guys. These are actually used to retain the spikes underneath the railroad. And apparently a lot of them fall off because I find a handful of them every time I come out here. But look at this one, dude. We found ourselves a ring or some sort here. Dude, super cool. I wonder what the heck this one was attached to. Ooh, ooh. Is that another spike Aruski for the day, you guys? I think so. That's gonna be plus one for our pile for the day. Dude, back to back, man. We got ourselves another one, man. I think our spike pile for today is gonna get pretty big. Whoa, this looks different, man. Oh, maybe not. I thought this was one piece here, but it is gonna be two pieces, which will give us another railroad spike retainer and this locking washer here. I'm not complaining, not a bad throw there. Dude, that's a weird looking piece, man. What do you think this is here? There's threads right there. This was meant to thread onto something and cap it off there, but I'm not sure what. Interesting piece there. Oh yeah, there's another one, you guys. Is that what I think it is? We got ourselves a skinny railroad spike, man. Ooh, I think we got some weight on here, you guys. Most of our weight there was gonna be coming from this magnetic rock, but we also have this guy hanging out there. It's some like mushroom head looking thing, dude, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like a metal mushroom, dude? That's kind of a cool looking piece. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely broken off of something though, you guys. You think that this is a mushroom over like rebar from someone hitting it with a hammer and it broke off? Or any other ideas there, you guys? Let me know about them. Oh, there's some weight on here, man. The heck do we got? <laughs> it's just a big old ball of rust or something, dude. It probably was something underneath there, but it's been down there for so long that you can't even see what the heck it is, man. This is all metal here. This is not a rock. Dude, it's crazy how long some of this stuff sits on the bottom of the water before we pull it up here, you guys. Every single piece that we find is gonna be a piece of history here. After all the recent videos that I've filmed in this spot, it's starting to get a little bit lighter here you guys so how about we try the other side there let's give it a couple throws and see what we can get over there all right you guys so i'm going to start off with tying my rope off here for now which is going to be in between that big metal support wall and that big metal support wall and what you're going to want to do is stay far away from them two things <laughs> Because if your magnet clicks on there, there's a good chance that you are not going to get it off, you guys. Either way, first throw, let's see what we get. Looks like the first thing that we're going to get is stuck here. Oh, is that magnetic or what is going on here? Oh my goodness. This may have been a mistake, you guys. Because it is like extremely rocky down there. This is just asking to get your magnet lost here. Let's see if that was just a fluke, you guys. Let's get it back in there. Oh, we managed to pull up our first find on this side, you guys. It looks like we got a couple things here, man. Check this out. This is a super weirdly shaped railroad spike here, you guys. And that's gonna have its smaller buddy on there. Both super rusted up, but we will start a pile over here too. Ooh, ooh. Dude, holy cow, man. 
No! No, I just lost half of it. Aww. <laughs> it looks like we're gonna have a bag pinching between whatever the heck this is here. There's like some weird notch bracket here piece, you guys. But I did lose my big find though. It hit the railing and it fell off of my magnet. But that's okay because I'm gonna pull my magnet directly through that area anyways. Yeah, let's see if I can pick that piece back up. I wasn't too sure what it was. Maybe it was just a stick or something, you guys. That's why it fell off so easily. Whoa, look at this lure, dude. This is a nice looking one. There are some words on there, man. It says head on midget digit. If anyone knows what that is, go ahead and let me know because I have no idea what that is. I don't think I've ever seen a lure that has been shaped like this. This is a super weird one, man. How the heck does that little scoop piece work? I also can't say that I found too many fishing lures on this bridge. This is probably my first one. Ooh, this is magnetic and has some very good weight to it, you guys. Oh, dude, holy freaking cow, man. Oh, oh, my magnet's slipping. Come on, stay on there. It's still coming out of the water, holy cow. No! Oh, dude, I lost another one, you guys. This one is like directly beneath my feet here. This one ain't going to get away. I swear it won't. Come on. Oh, did I find my pipe? Did I find it? Yes, there it is. Let's not lose it this time, you guys. Oh, my freaking gosh, this thing is heavy. Come here. Let's get it through this railing here. I told you this one wasn't going to get away from us, you guys. Dude, this thing is freaking heavy. This is going to be our heaviest find of the day. And it's also going to raise the most questions, you guys, because it does have holes up there, 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 and all the way down, man. They're all perfectly evened out like that. And this pipe also seems to be snapped off right there, you guys. So this thing was absolutely massive at one point. But I really wonder what all of these holes were used for though, you guys. It almost reminds me of like a farm sprinkler or something, like a big industrial size sprinkler. Dude, really weird, man. If anyone has any ideas, go ahead and drop those below, as I would love to know. Ooh, there's a few more pieces on there, man. Over here is gonna be a railroad spike hotspot as well, you guys. It's gonna be another one to add to the pile for today. That's what I'm doing here, guys, and I'm just taking and I'm dredging all along the side here. And typically, you can feel something click on there. Nine times out of 10, this works. But you also gotta watch for all the metal stuff right there, because I don't wanna get stuck. So let's pull it up right now, see if we got anything. Sure enough, you guys, we got a couple things on there. First thing is we're gonna have this chisel piece, man. It doesn't look like much, but these are actually very handy tools. When you need a nice chisel, this is something that you're looking for, you guys. This will probably get cleaned up and tossed in my toolbox at home because I need stuff like this all the time. The only thing that we're gonna have on there, guys, is a fastener for the railroad. This will be the last place that we tie off for today, you guys. This little section over here is very dangerous as far as losing your magnet there's actually a lot of rocks underneath there that you keep getting caught up on and i don't want to lose my magnet right here so i'm going to move a little bit over to the left and see what we can find there there was an old guy across the water over there just staring at me he thinks that i was talking to myself like some crazy guy on this railroad bridge <laughs> you do get some funny looks when you're filming guys but it's okay i do it for you guys really hope that there's less rocks over there I mean, don't get me wrong, I was pulling stuff up over there, but oh no. Just as I said that, you guys, another rock caught us up. Yeah, I'm not too much of a fan over here too, you guys. Very first throw, we keep getting stuck on rocks, man, and I don't like it. I lied, you guys, I'm tying off in one more spot. <laughs> <laughs> this section over here is just as risky as the section over there, you guys. Every throw, I keep getting caught up on rocks and stuff, and I don't want to lose my 360-degree magnet because they're not the cheapest magnet. Well, I was just chatting with one of the workers here. This train is actually going to be coming all the way down here, you guys, which means I got to pack my stuff up and get out of here for today. <laughs> 